In the quill of David Viscott, a declaration both unadorned and profound hath been etched. To love and be loved is to feel the sun from both sides. Herein lies the very quintessence of human communion and the reciprocity that doth enrobe love's embrace. In but a paucity of phrases, Viscott doth craft a vivid and universally resonant tableau delineating the essence of love's experience. Of peculiar note is the metaphor invoking the sensation of embracing the sun's warmth from both facets. It doth conjure sensations of ardor, luminance and equipoise. When love finds its dwelling both in our hearts and returns therefrom, it resembles naught but a languorous basking in the sun's tender beams, not solely from one direction but from every quarter. This solar imagery does symbolize the emotional and cerebral ardor that love ushereth into our mortal sojourn. Love, verily, hath the potency to illuminate our existence, thereby granting us the sense of vivacity and adoration. Yet further, this locution implies a certain equilibrium, intimating that love is not a solitary path, but rather a reciprocal harmonious transaction. When one's heart doth proffer affection, and that affection doth find its echo, it forges a beauteous and balanced liaison, wherein both souls partake in the balm of fondness and solicitude, this aphorism doth summon to mind our primordial human yearning for love and the transmutative influence it may exact upon our journey. It doth goad us to seek and nurture those relationships adorned with affection, bearing in mind that love akin to the sun hath the prerogative to illuminate our world from every vantage, inundating our lives with luminosity, ardor and a sense of entirety. The words of David Viscott, though concise, doth resound deeply within the tapestry of human existence recollecting for us the splendor and the potency of love in all its manifestations.